Hi, I'm Enix Sears, and today we're going to talk about how do I get people to understand that they need my services as a designer or an architect. This is the business of architecture. All right, today's question comes from Mac, and Mac is actually a landscape architect, and he says, Enix, how do I get people to know that they need me and my services? And in his email, Mac basically said that he wasn't seeing a lot of projects being done in his local area like the kind of products he does. Now, what I'm going to tell you, Mac, you might not like this, but never be in the position, it's a very weak position, never be in the position of trying to educate clients that they need your services. As someone who's marketing your services and as someone who is trying to bring in more business, you never want to be in the position of trying to convince someone that they need you. They either need you or they don't. As a marketer, you need to have someone or a market that already has the desire to work with you in their heart. Your job is to bring that out. Okay. A lot of times architects will get scared because they see a lot of competition around them and think, you know what, I want to go into a market where there's not any competition. There's a reason why that's not a very good strategy. If there's not a lot of competition in that particular submarket or niche, it's a good indication that there's not a lot of demand there. It's a lot easier to outmarket your competition than to try to create your own brand new market. So I take it if if there's lots of competition in a market, I take that as a good sign because that means that there are people right now paying for those kind of services. Who are the architects who are able to hire the best people and do the best projects? Who are the architects out there that are making money? Go find them, go to the fishing holes that already exist and don't try to create a new fishing hole. Now Mac, I know that that might be hard to accept and it may be the case that there are people doing the kind of work that you want to do. If that's the case, then this doesn't apply. But if it's truly true what you said is that people don't understand or think they need your services, go find someone that does. This might just be a slight tweak in your message. It might be that maybe the thing that you're offering isn't exactly what they need and you need to go look for a different kind of client. It'll save you a lot of heartache, a lot of wasted time. Mac, my goal here is to help you and help you grow your business. If you enjoyed this architect business tip, go to architectbusinesstips.com, sign up for my email list, and I'll send you more information about how you can succeed as an architect, earn more income, and grow a profitable practice. Now get out there and conquer the world.